Live from London, I'm Guy Johnson. And from New York, I'm Bonnie Quinn. This is Bloomberg Markets. Time now for Futures in Focus. Let's bring in Scott Geekus, Chief Market Strategist at the Fox Group from the CME in Chicago. Scott, thanks for joining. Let's talk about oil. Thanks we were up me. more than 2% at the beginning of the session today. Now, we've shaved off some of those gains, but the oil market is considering a lot from the OPEC Plus meeting this week to the president's tweets. What is the oil market taking into consideration? Yeah, with the oil market, I mean, it's a completely, it's been driven by the headlines for over the last 18 months or so. So Friday, we had a big sell-off, big sell-off due to uh, the back and forth rhetoric with the Chinese trade war talks, a little bit of a delay in the talks, not to mention that we had a build in U.S. inventory. So with those two things, we had a big flush out in the market uh, later Later on and over the weekend, we had another rumor that OPEC is going to cut about 400,000 barrels per day. So that's why we're seeing a little bit of a bump up. We also had a little bit of positive rhetoric out of the PMI across the world, not necessarily in the U.S. The U.S., we had a little bit of a drop in the manufacturing this morning. But other than that, we had the positive PMI in China and some of the other European countries. That is just confirming that there's going to be a little bit more demand for oil. So with that being said, that's one of the reasons why we are ramping up today. But U.S. production is, are at all-time highs. Uh, production is expected to decline a little bit, and that is just confirmed by the U.S. rig count dropping to about 2017 levels. So we're just right now, as far as looking for direction, what we need to have come out of the OPEC meeting. It's not definite that they're going to cut. Again, those are just rumors, so we have to wait and see how that meeting is going to play out. But right now, we're just looking at the option flow. The option flow, it continues to build on the 55 line as well as the 60 line. But if you're looking at the shorter term in about 14 days, the options are pricing at about a $3 move one way or the other. So that's what we're going to be keep focusing on this week. All right, Scott, we got it all in one. Thank you for that. That is Scott Geekus, Chief Market Strategist at the Fox Group with Futures in Focus.